Let's take a look at a part in the modeling part of Inventor. As a designer, you're familiar with this environment. But did you know there's a manufacturing environment called CAM between the Tools and Manage tab? If we pick this tab and switch the tree to select the CAM, now we're in the manufacturing environment. The ribbon bar from the left has the first operation called Setup. This is where we first define the machine used and the manufacturing environment on the machine. The work coordinate system, which is basically the way the X, Y and Z are located on the machine and the origin of the part. Model orientation has five different selections and the origin has four. On the model orientation we can just tell the system we want to use the orientation from the model when it was designed. In this case it would be totally wrong to use that because Z is going to the side of this block and we want Z going up. So we can go in here and select the z-axis, which I'd done previously. If I deselect that, I can do it again. So I'm picking that plane, and then the x-axis. I can pick an edge, whichever way around I want x to be but I want that part to actually sit on the machine like that. The origin, we've got different options here. We've got the model origin, which in this case is going to be kind of wrong. We've got a selected point, a stock box point, or a model box point. I tend to go for a model box point because that's where I can actually find the edge of a component on the machine. Um, right now, I can pick the middle and that will be fine. I can, I can center up this component on the machine. The next dialog box would be the stock definition. On this particular part, I wanted a fixed width of four and a half inches because I'm going to screw this down to the uh, table of a, a router. So I need a bit of extra stock on the side here. So I decided to go in there and put an even amount of width on the stock either side of the origin. And similarly with Y, I adjusted the offset from the bottom of the component because I didn't want to go through all of the material when I finished machined it. I wanted to leave a little piece of material left at the end of it. 